I have reviewed a lot of OLED monitors and TVs, and in that time, guys, I gotta say, I've come to the conclusion that OLED is the best technology on the market today, but whether it's WOLED or Quantum.OLED, they do have a big problem when it comes to shadow detail. Now, this is something that we can somewhat fix, although it is always going to be a bit of a problem until something changes. And in today's video, I'm going to show you that problem and how you can potentially fix it. So in order to do so, I have to have my camera set to a very, very high ISO, and I'm in a pretty dark room right now, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it. And right now, I do have playing in front of me a black level test. Now, I will have a link to both the SDR and HDR versions of this test in the description below, as you will need to do this for both SDR and HDR, but let's start off in SDR. And right here, you can see that Actually, overall, this is pretty good. There is a little bit of black crush going on in the top left, but it's not too bad. However, I want to show you guys, this is after I've actually made some adjustments. Out of the box, what you're going to see here is if you leave this black level setting on the LG C4 TV, that there's a pretty huge amount of shadow detail missing. Now, you can actually go back in and bring all of that shadow detail back so you can actually see things in a dark environment or dark movie dark game what have you but it is going to come at the cost of actually you will get rid of true black so if i bring this all the way up to 60 and we exit out i think what you're going to see is that it does actually show you the full range you can see everything looks how it should the only box that you can't see is that box that's correct you shouldn't be seeing you know, any detail here, any small boxes all the way up that line. And that is what you should be seeing on the camera right now, although it is gonna be kind of hard for me to show you. However, the problem with actually fully fixing shadow detail on OLEDs is that these black borders around here actually won't be pure black. They will have a slight, slight raise to them. And so I think the best solution for us to do here is to get as close to correct as possible without getting rid of the true blacks that you get on OLED. And the best way to do that, I've found on the LG C4, is to bring the black level from 50 here all the way up to 56. Bringing it from 50 to 56, as you can see, does restore the majority of that missing shadow detail. Likewise, when we go into HDR, let's do that right now. Here you can see that we have reference black at 64 and then everything above that, you should hopefully be able to see some amount of detail in the camera. And I think it is set up correctly right now so you can see that. However, if we actually go into the menu here, again, I've already adjusted this. See, I have it to 54, but if I drop this down to 50, then what you're gonna see is there's a ton of shadow detail missing. You can only see any shadow detail in the right half of the screen. Now, this is a huge problem because, like I mentioned, if you're watching a dark, you know, movie or you're playing a game and it's in a really dark environment there will literally be details in the shadow that you cannot see and to make it worse when it's really far off like the lg c4 here is you actually get to a point where what you're filming if you're filming something versus what you're seeing on your screen is so far apart that you don't really know what the correct gamma is at that point. The SDR stuff I'm doing in gamma 2.2, so if you choose a different gamma curve, it may be different for you, but in HDR, at least in theory, you know, if you're connected to Windows, this should be the same. And here we can see I'll bring it all back, bring that shadow detail back, and once again, boom, you can pretty much see all that detail. Now, it seemed like almost perfect at like 55 or 56, but once again, then black was no longer black. So this is the best happy medium with these basic settings that we get for LG. Now on Samsung TVs, you'll have something called shadow detail in there as well. I've found on the S90C, it seems like maybe a shadow detail of plus one seems to work, but it's gonna depend on which Samsung TV you have, what gamma you're in, etc. But overall, Yes, this is going to be something that you do want to take a look at. I would suggest downloading these tests and doing it yourself in a very dark room. You can try and eyeball it. I also have tools to actually measure black to see if it's real black, and that's why I've come to 
the actual settings I'm using here. But this is something that I wanted to make a video on because it's very, very important that we do try and retrieve some of that missing detail out of these displays. And also I'm gonna be actually implementing this into my future reviews. So I wanna to explain to you guys in a video why this matters, you know, what I'm doing, how I'm trying to tackle it, to get it as accurate as I can without, again, losing the advantage of OLED, which is true black. So hopefully that is helpful for you guys. If it was, be sure to favorite the video so that you don't forget this. If you get a new display in the future, you know, like the video, comment below what settings you're using on your TV or monitor, as I will be trying to adjust monitors as well. And of course, share it on places like Twitter, Reddit, other social media, etc., so that more people can be aware of this issue and maybe what's the best way to tackle it. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.